Welcome back. Gonzaga begins their season this coming Tuesday. As always, there are a lot of expectations around the squad today. We're diving into what I think their regular season record will be as we go along. Vote in your Crumb 2 app on how many wins you think the Zags will have in the regular season. OK, so here are the ground rules. I'm going to assume Gonzaga wins every game against quote unquote lesser competition. I'm including BYU in that group because the Cougars don't have a super deep team this season and they have a new head coach. I'm also going to assume Gonzaga goes two and one in the battle for Atlanta's tournament over Thanksgiving weekend. With all those assumptions, that puts Gonzaga at 25 and one. So now let's go through the games that are up in the air on their schedule. We're going to do it chronologically. Let's start with UW. That game is on December 8th in Seattle. The Huskies pushed the Zags to the brink last season as the Bulldogs needed a game winning jumper from Rui Hachimura to win. However, these are definitely different teams this season with both squads losing pivotal playmakers. Both Gonzaga and UW lost their top four scorers from last season. I'm going to give the Zags the edge in this game, though, for a few reasons. One, the Zags have way more tenured, experienced leadership than the Huskies do with Kispert, Tilly, and then senior grad transfers Admon Gilder and Ryan Woolridge. Two, UW has heralded transfer Quade Green on their squad this year, but he is not eligible to play for the Huskies until after this game. And number three, Gonzaga has won all of the contests since this rivalry was renewed. I'm not going to pick against the Zags until the Huskies get a win against them. Next up is Gonzaga's game at Arizona. Arizona on December 14th. This team does have solid veteran leadership in redshirt senior center Chase Jeter. They also have grad transfers Max Hazard, who made a name for himself in the NCAA tournament last year with UC Irvine, and Stone Gettings, a 6'9 forward who transferred in from Cornell. Just today, the school announced that Kentucky transfer and shooting guard Jamarl Baker Jr. was ruled eligible by the NCAA to play this season. That's a big deal because Arizona has already lost their starting point guard and second leading scorer from last season, Brandon Williams, for the whole season this year due to a knee injury. Because this is on the road in Tucson and this Arizona team should be in some sort of groove by then, I'm going to pick the Wildcats in this contest. Then we come back to Gonzaga for the big one. North Carolina in the kennel December 18th. Just to give you an idea of what the media thinks of this matchup and what it looks like going into this season, Gonzaga ranked number eight in the AP Top 25 preseason poll. North Carolina ranked number nine. So yeah, even though I personally think Gonzaga's preseason ranking is a little high, this still should be a pretty fun matchup. Getting down to the nitty gritty here. North Carolina lost all five of their top scores from last season, but that's common in a program of their level. They have the number nine recruiting class in the country, but Gonzaga has the number 13 recruiting class in the nation. So that feels like a bit of a wash, but one factor that might prove pivotal in this contest is health. North Carolina has three players, two freshmen and one junior who have knee injuries, although the extent of their injuries is unknown. While the only injured player for Gonzaga right now is Killian Tilly and all signs indicate that his knee surgery was not serious. I am pretty much giving Gonzaga the narrowest of edges in this game since it is at home, but don't be surprised if this one comes down to the wire. And finally, let's talk a little SMC. The Gales are going to be good this year, like really, really good. Like they return eight of their top nine scores good. I don't think I need to say much else other than that. I think the Zags split the series this season. So my record prediction for Gonzaga, 28 and three, by the way, Vegas agrees with me. That's uh -huh. what the line is on their record.